Hello friends and fellow collectors, thanks for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 150th scale Heavy Haul Replicas Mac Superliner Tandem Axle Tractor. This version is the red over black with the item number HHR, as in Heavy Haul Replicas, 138B-3. This model retails for $229 on the Heavy Haul Replicas website. There will be a link in the video's description if you wish to purchase one of these. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. It does come in the brown outer shipping box, the same style box we've seen before, especially with the uh, the RD800s that were released first, and now the Superliners. Pretty exciting that we're getting all these classic Mack trucks. I can't wait. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to see what else Heavy Haul Replicas has up their sleeve uh, for these trucks models in 150 scale. I, I just feel like the U.S. truck market at 150 scale is so vastly underserved, especially with uh, the older truck models. So uh, I'm thrilled and excited to see them. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Okay, out of the brown outer shipping box is the black actual box for the model. So we have Mac and the Bulldog on the side. We have the item number on the flaps. And then underneath is all of your copyright information. So if you're into that kind of thing and you want to read it, please feel free to pause the video. For the rest of us, we're going to continue to get this thing open. All right, we've got a side flap started. As you are probably already familiar, the models come in a two-piece polystyrene or styrofoam former, which is taped all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this real quick, and then we'll get the model out. All right, we've got the tape cut. Again, for newbies, it is marked on the top with the arrow, so you know what side you're opening. Lift up. The model is protected inside by various different pieces of paper, again, to protect the paintwork from clashing in the model. Also, there is a pointer tool here, and on this side is a spare set of mirrors. Be careful what you grab onto. This is a very fragile model with some potentially uh, breakable pieces if you mishandle it. So just take your time, use a little bit of care. Finally, once you cut this piece of tape here, which is keeping the doors closed, and the tape down here, which is keeping the lines down, you're ready to display your truck. All right, allow me to go over some general information about the model before we take a look at the details and working features. Again, I mentioned it's 150 scale. Dimensions 6 inches long, 2.3 inches wide, and 2.7 inches tall. The red over black is limited to 100 in the production run. The model is comprised of mostly die cast with other materials used for details and function. This is an authentic, authentically configured and decorated vehicle to replicate the real truck. Some functions and features include rubber mud flaps, front and rear suspension, sliding, pivoting, and locking fifth wheel, detailed interior with suspension seats to replicate air ride, air and electrical lines fit most trailers or can be modified to connect, rolling rubber front and rear wheels with steerable front axle, and a pick tool, which is this right here, is included to assist you with opening the cab doors and the hood. Again, this is available on the Heavy Haul Replicas website. It does retail for $229. Again, if you have been wanting one or thinking about getting one, go ahead and pull the trigger and don't wait. These will sell out very quickly. Welcome back, everyone. Let's go over the details now. We begin with the red over black paint scheme. Kind of obvious why it's called that. Uh, usually the over part is the color of the frame, which is black. Uh, cab is obviously red. This will go very nicely with the red over black Mac RD800 that I have reviewed on this channel. You can take a look at that review at the top right corner of your screen or at the end of this video. Chrome is also used quite nicely all the way around this model. You can see it on the diamond plated texturing, the fender wells, the chrome wheel hubs as well, the chrome top of the air cleaners, the mirrors, the exhaust, the list goes on and on. If you look here at the Mac Bulldog, that is a gold Mac Bulldog. You have the Mac logo here and the Superliners as well. Various different lights and other features bring out the details, particularly on the fenders. The front, there's no mistaking this is a Mac Superliner. Again, the iconic front grille and front end just looks fantastic on these trucks. Moving along to the right-hand side, this particular Superliner does have the air cleaners on both sides of the cab. This little black piece is the locking mechanism to keep the hood down and obviously for, to keep it from popping open during transport and travel. 
Here is your exhaust stack, which does have holes in it. Speaking of holes, if you look at the steps, those are all perforated and have individual holes on them as well. The lines that you see back here, your air and electrical lines, the fifth wheel will slide forward and back to accommodate other trailers, and it can tilt as well. The mud flaps are rubber and flexible, and they do feature the MAC logo on them. Looking from the top-down view, for those that are interested in seeing that, here you go. Here's what the top-down view looks like. And one of the most interesting poses, I think, because it probably gets shown the least, is the underside view of these trucks. There's so much effort and time that gets put into modeling the chassis and the frames of these trucks. I always enjoy pointing them out on my videos because it's worthwhile to show. All right, those are the details. When we come back, we'll put the model on the test track and see what it can do. Beginning our functionality test now, the model does roll in either forward or reverse really well. No problems there. It does feature working steering. And as you can see, the steering works quite well on this truck with the wheels rolling, at least in the left direction. They do lock up a bit and clash on the fender wells, turning in the right direction. Again, since these are display models not meant to be played with, I don't think that will bother most collectors. All right, I already mentioned the functionality of the fifth wheel, so we won't go over that again. Let's take a look at the opening engine hood so we can see our detailed motor inside. Always worthwhile to have this on any model, whether it be a truck model, a construction model, or whatever, uh, just to see the motors and engine detail inside. This model is no different. Okay, what about the opening cab doors? You can do that. Now we've got the, the cab doors open. And it's hard to pick up on camera, but the interior of these trucks is so beautifully detailed, you might be able to see some of those gauges. Uh, but again... Certainly when you have this in person and you're able to study it, you seem to pick up something new every time you look at it. All right, so that's the functionality of the model. We will pause for the final time in this video, and when we come back, we will have a trailer posed with this truck so you can see what that would look like. All right, we're back, and in this case, we have the Mac Superliner hooked up to a Weiss Brothers drop deck trailer. Uh, hauling to early 90s to kind of go with the era of the Max Superliner. Uh, two early 90s cat compactors, which I think make an interesting pose. Yes, they're not the most detailed of models, and certainly they don't deserve to go with a Weiss Brothers model or a, uh, a Heavy Haul Replicas model, but I still do think it's an interesting pose, and it goes to show you, you don't always have to have the nicest of everything to make an interesting pose that is attractive for other collectors and indeed for yourself too. That'll bring this video to a conclusion. Again, a huge thanks to you guys, the viewers. Without you, we would not be able to feature any models on Diecast Emporium, so you guys are obviously the most important aspect. So thank you all for your support over the years. Thank you for watching and commenting and enjoying the videos. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section below. If you look at your screen right now, you'll see a list, a playlist, for all of the other Heavy Hull replicas models I have reviewed thus far, so be sure to pull up a chair and uh, just sit back and enjoy for a little bit. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.